Unit 4, Lesson 8, How Much in Each Group, Part 1. Number 1. For each scenario, use the given tape diagram to help you answer the question. Mark up and label the diagram as needed. A. My picked one cup of strawberries for a cake, which was enough for three-fourths of the cake. How many cups does she need for the whole cake? As you can see in this diagram, the portion in red indicates the amount in one cup. And I divided that up into thirds. Three thirds makes one whole cup. Well, three thirds or one cup was only enough for three fourths of a cake. In order to make one whole cake, she'd need another third of a cup of strawberries. So if she picked another third of a cup of strawberries, she'd have enough for a whole cake. So in all, Mai would need one and one third cups of strawberries to make one whole cake. B. Priya has picked one and a half cups of raspberries, which is enough for three fourths of a cake. How many cups does she need for the whole cake? The one and a half cups of raspberries that Priya picked is in blue, and I divided that up into halves. So there's three halves in one and a half cups, and those three half cups make three-fourths of a cake. In order to make one whole cake, Priya would need another half a cup. To make one whole cake, Priya would need two cups of raspberries. Number two. Tyler painted nine halves square yards of a wall area with three gallons of paint. How many gallons of paint does it take to paint each square yard of wall? A. Write multiplication and division equations to represent the situation. Nine halves times what number equals three? And three divided by nine halves equals what number? B. Draw a diagram to represent the situation and to answer the question. Three gallons of paint covers nine halves square yards. It takes two-thirds gallons of paint for each square yard of the wall. Two-thirds times nine halves equals three. It takes two-thirds gallons for each square yard. Number three, after walking one-fourth mile from home, Han is one-third of his way to school. What is the distance between his home and school? A. Write multiplication and division equations to represent this situation. One-third times what number equals one-fourth, and one-fourth divided by one-third equals what number? B. Use the given diagram to help you answer the question. Mark up and label it as needed. In my diagram, the section colored in red represents a distance of one-fourth of a mile and a distance of one-third the way to school. One-fourth divided by one-third equals three-fourths. The total distance is three-fourths of a mile. Number four, here is a division equation. Four-fifths divided by two-thirds equals what number? A, write a multiplication equation that corresponds to the division equation. Two-thirds times what number equals four-fifths? B, draw a diagram to represent and answer the question. Out of the four-fifths represented in the blue shaded area, there's another two-fifths needed to form one full group. So the answer would be six-fifths are needed for one full group. Number five, a set of books that are each one and five-tenths inches wide are being organized on a bookshelf that is 36 inches wide. How many books can fit on the shelf? A. Write a multiplication equation and a division equation to represent this question. What number times 1 and 5 tenths equals 36 
And 36 divided by 1 and 5 tenths equals what number? B. Find the answer. Draw a diagram if needed. 24 books can fit on the shelf because 36 divided by 1 and 5 tenths is 24. C. Use the multiplication equation to check your answer. 24 times 1 and 5 tenths equals 36. Number 6. A. Without calculating, order the expressions based on their values from smallest to largest. 56 divided by 8, 56 divided by 8 million, and 56 divided by 8 millionths. Their values from smallest to largest would be 56 divided by 8 million, next would be 56 divided by 8, and then finally the largest value would be 56 divided by 8 millionths, because 8 millionths would go into 56 many more times than 8 would go into 56, or 8 million would go into 56. B. Explain how you decided the order of the three expressions. The dividend, 56, was the same for all of them. So the larger the divisor, the smaller the quotient. C. Find a number n so that 56 divided by n is greater than 1 but less than 7. The value for n could be any number that's less than 56 and greater than 1. For example, if the value for n is 12, the equation is 56 divided by 12 equals 4.66, which is 4 and 66 hundredths, and that obviously is greater than 1 and less than 7. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 4, Lesson 8, How Much in Each Group, Part 1. <music>